Well, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has strong views on global warming, but they're not complicated. According to her, it is the single worst crisis in human history. The world is going to end in 12 years if we don't address climate change. Like, this is the war. This is our World War II. Ocasio-Cortez's confidence is made possible, as it usually is, by complete ignorance. Not knowing anything helps. For example, Washington, D.C. was battered by flash floods on Monday morning after the city received about four inches of rain in barely two hours. Ocasio-Cortez quickly exploited the tragedy by tweeting that the flooding was the fault of Republicans for not implementing her Green New Deal. But she was quickly rebuked by actual meteorologists, one of whom tweeted this, quote, First a tornado and now a flash flood. The congresswoman does not miss an opportunity to turn a weather event she experiences into a political statement. A slow-moving thunderstorm is not, quote, climate. Joe Bastardi is chief meteorologist at weatherbell.com and author of the Climate Chronicles. He joins us tonight. Joe, thanks a lot for coming on. So does the congresswoman have a grip on the science? I, that's almost impossible to answer, given the things that uh, she she does. She's weaponizing the weather. And you just mentioned my book. The, the longest chapter in the book is on the weaponization of the weather. In fact, sometimes, Tucker, I think uh, they took that. And after they burned the book, they decided, well, let's just double down on weaponizing thing. Every single event is being used like this. It's going to continue to be used. And I'll tell you why. Because people don't know what happened before in the weather. If you don't know what happened before, you know, the old saying, you've got to stand for something, you'll fall for anything, you'll fall for this right. stuff. And a lot of people say, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. Now, she's talking about that particular situation in Washington, D.C. Uh, she's probably unaware aware of July 4th, 1969 in Northeast Ohio, July 1977 with the Johns, uh, Johnstown flood in Pennsylvania. And this right. is going on across the board, and it's going to continue. We're going into hurricane season, right? That is one of their favorite things. You just wait and watch what happens in the Gulf over the next few days. I guarantee over the weekend, they'll be saying, well, there it is, climate change. But that's not a valid, I mean, that's not a scientifically no. valid way to understand the weather, of is it? Of course it's of, of course it's not. Do you think do you think these folks know what the what's the perfect temperature of the planet? Does anyone know what's the perfect level of CO2 since plants grow? Uh, we know we're greener than we've ever been. Plants grow better when there's more CO2. Uh, maybe that's part of the design here, that there's more food. People's prosperity is going up. You know, life expectancy is going up. Climate deaths are going down. I, I just don't understand. And look, I, I tell folks all the time. Don't believe me. Go look for yourself. I don't know what's happened to curiosity today, all right? There are a lot of honest people on the other side of the issue that I know. I see what they're looking at. I believe they, they over-attribute to CO2. But there's a whole bunch of people here that are simply using this as an agenda-driven idea, and it has n very little to do with climate or weather. It has things to do with political uh, ideas. It does seem that way. Joe, thanks a lot for joining us tonight. It is. Hey, thank you for having me anytime.